Transition Awareness Breathing. Feeling grounded for both children and parents is essential for healthy living and learning. Join Eartha Powell on this series for tips and tools for creating a harmonious environment for learning. Transition Awareness Breathing will help you and your child find an individualized path to tackle change, promote lifelong learning, and discover new approaches to calmness. Here we are again. That time of year. New school. New grade. A new job. A promotion. A lateral change. Something is about to happen. Change. It stirs the very pit of the soul. Welcome to Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast. Today, we're going to move through the stirring emotions. We're going to change our perspective and move. But before we get started, thank you to Web Talk Radio for allowing me to bring Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast to you. And to my producers, Mary Lou and Sam, thank you for making Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast available to my listeners everywhere they go. Now, let's get ready to change our perspective into something positive. This is Eartha, and thank you so much for joining me again. As the summer continues, yet at the same time, Different indicators and signs are around us that summer will be coming to a close as the school season opens up and our activity level seems to grow and, you know, we speed up. And it just seems at the same time there's there's excitement and yet a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of caution. And so from the things that we have talked about in our summer series, in our podcast about change, about music, about positive uh, thinking, in the face of fear, let's wrap all this together. And how I would like to do that with you is to take you through an exercise because we can talk a lot about breathing and we can talk a lot about how our bodies change when we're faced with different anxieties or You know, we just feel um, uncomfortable. Pressures begin to build. Shoulders, necks begin to get tight. How about let's practice? Let's practice taking a hold of our reactions our perceptions and maybe you went to a beautiful vacation spot 
you know, this this summer or you did something just so fun. It, you know, a lot of times we don't venture far away from our homes and we find all kinds of great things just nearby. But whatever that was for you, I invite you to allow that moment to filter in and allow yourself to experience the sensations and the feelings that you that you got from that vacation or that wonderful um, place that you visited and while you're getting to that point I invite you to make yourself comfortable to sit in a comfortable position to relax your shoulders to let your arms and your hands melt melt onto your your lap or at your side just let go and remember maybe it was the sun it was the sky the blue sky maybe it was the smell the aromas maybe it was at a marketplace and it was the colors and the conversations that just made you so so elated so that special place that we experience and we tuck our memories in when we go on those happy events go there and as you relax your shoulders and your neck feel welcome to place your feet just flat on the floor or if you're not sitting if you're laying just allow your body to rest it's okay to rest as you're bringing your awareness to a restful state to a restful peace of mind to a restful consciousness I invite you to breathe in a deep breath in through your nose and blow out through your mouth through a circle through your mouth and just exhale as much as you can and with that cleansing breath we're just going to take one more breath in and blow out and now the sensations that are in your legs I invite you to just be aware of any sensations in your legs in your feet in your toes in your ankles and any pressure let it rest Your toes relax let your ankles relax go limp as you bring your awareness up to your legs and your knees give yourself permission to relax bring your awareness now to the rise in the fall of your stomach as you inhale and exhale as you're breathing in and blowing out 
And as your awareness is paying attention to the rise and the fall now of your chest, you remember a little bit more of some of the special memories that you experienced. And you recognize some of the memories are very special. Hold on to those memories. Hold on to the pleasant memories. And be aware that when we have memories that maybe we can't say that they were pleasant memories, but let's Let's be open to maybe appreciate what we've learned from those memories. Ah, uh, now we're we're wiser and we've learned. We've learned about ourselves, our reactions and our emotions. And now take another breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Be aware of your shoulders. If you would like to just roll your shoulders back a couple of times and then roll the shoulders forward. Pay attention to the neck Let it relax. Let it rest. Let the muscles and the tension, let any pressure, let it go. Because right now, we're moving through our memories and our experiences. And we're not going to allow the reactions of change to disrupt our peace. We're going to monitor our changes and we're going to realize and be open that those changes, our experiences, and we're growing from those experiences and we're moving towards a positive place. Are there any barriers? Are there any thoughts that's surfacing and maybe sending a message or a signal that no, you can't go there. You just not that wasn't positive. That wasn't that wasn't nice. That acknowledgement is okay. The recognition that that experience was not okay because you're seeing things as it really is and that you are strong. You're, you're pulling that internal strength within you and nothing will stop you. Keep going towards positive thoughts because the person that you have grown to be that wise person, that peaceful person is within you. So don't let any negative filters portray you to be the one that you are not. Keep breathing and notice the movement of your chest breathing as you take a breath in and blow out. As we bring our session to a close,